Okay, so this is another first in 2021. That's right, my first ever bait collaboration pickup by Vans in the Authentic 44DX sneaker with the hoodie to accompany this. And truth be told, this is like a collab that flew right under the radar. Today, let's unbox the brand new Vans Bape Authentic 44DX in the first camo colorway. As you can see, the box will feature the all over first camo print with the Vans off the wall logo on the top of the box. And for sizing, I have a six and a half in men's, which is also equal to an eight in women's. Now we know Bape is no stranger to holding a really high spot in respect in the streetwear community for their brand which of course based in tokyo and started in 1993 the camel pattern is what they are known for and this time it's featured on both the sneaker and then a hoodie which i also picked up in a size medium Straight out the box, we have the Authentic 44DX. Now you have some extras present here. I actually have a Bape Vance keychain, which I immediately put on my key ring as soon as I was done with the unboxing portion of the video. And then you also have white laces that you can swap in instead of the black standard laces. I own other authentic models by Vans, and this actually has more of a ripstop material for the upper, which I appreciate. I just think it'll be a little bit more water resistant than some of the cloth pairs that I own. The Authentic 44DX is reminiscent of the original Authentic sneaker by Vans, which they created within their Anaheim, California factory. However, you have ortholite sock liners, which really upgrade the comfort of the sneaker in itself. You also have supportive padding around the collars of the shoe. And again, that standard waffle outsole. This collaboration is a great way to show your appreciation and respect for the brand of Bathing Ape within streetwear while also paying respects to Vans, a classic staple within sneaker culture. For sizing in all Vans pairs, I'm a true size six, which is a women's seven and a half. Unfortunately, that sold out too fast. So I went with a six and a half, which is equivalent to a women's eight. I have a little room in the toe box. However, since I intend to wear thicker socks, especially in the fall and winter, the six and a half fits just fine. If we're talking comfort, it's always interesting that the cushioning within a van sneaker is not out of this world. No, it's not React. No, it's not like a Jordan MA2, but with the ortholite liners within the sneaker itself and just the way it's constructed, you can actually wear this all day without a lot of discomfort depending on your feet. So I know that's a personal wear preference by each individual, but for myself, I plan to wear these quite often. I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ. I'm still waiting on that fear of God nickname. Okay, so you guys have until Christmas to bless your girl. Go ahead, figure that out. No, really, you don't have to do anything. Listen, just something fun that I'm throwing out there. But today, unboxing the brand new collab with Vans and Bape. And again, this is my very first pickup um, for a Bape collaboration sneaker. Now, truth be told, yes, I owned an item that was Bape and those were socks thanks to Wolf as a birthday gift like last year. So this is my very first pickup and um, I'll be honest with you, it was the subtlety of the collaboration that really drew me in.
I'm a fan of the subtlety of the collaboration by Vans and Bape on this sneaker and the hoodie itself. Uh, that wasn't the opinion of everyone, of course, on social media. Looking on Twitter and Instagram, people in the comments said, hey, this feels lazy. It feels like you guys didn't really put any effort in. And I can understand that if we're basing this on the really bold and audacious like overall prints that you're used to seeing or that you associate with Bape itself and its longstanding history within streetwear, whether it's here in the US or in Japan. But for me, just getting into it, this was the perfect, uh, I guess, segue because it wasn't doing too much. Like with the hoodie, you have the camo print on the back, as you guys saw in the unboxing. I feel as if I can wear this with a number of different things and it doesn't have to just be um, something maybe that, that people associate or coordinating with Bape. And yes, I fully intend to also throw on just some red, black and white Jordans with this, maybe even those breads up there, just for the fact that you do have some of that black and red um, incorporated into the hoodie itself or just throw on an all gray new balance and, and keep it moving uh so a fan of how subtle the actual collaboration is or i should say the execution same with this camo sneaker so you, i went with the authentic pair so you have the first camo print present yes you have an eight present within the print but i don't think people will really pay attention or notice that unless they're staring down at my shoe so that makes it a great pair i think to integrate in a number of different outfits and i am curious comment below do you own any camo sneakers Another thing of buying this sneaker, I should say that that really just, you know, made it a great experience. There wasn't a lot of hassle. That's not to say the sneaker didn't sell out in most sizes because it absolutely did. It sold out in most sizes. If you go back now, there may be some smaller ones available, which of, of course my true six seems to be available when I'm searching recently, but I went the six and a half because that, that was available when I checked out on release day. And the only way I even found out about this, uh, sneaker Twitter tweeted the link out. And so clicked on it, went straight to the van site. I was able to add the hoodie to cart in a size medium and the authentic pair to cart in a six and a half. Now this didn't go smooth for everybody. One of my friends, James, checked out he received or he, i think he re, i don't know if he received the confirmation email but i know he messaged me and said hey they just canceled my order and that actually had me on pins and needles because i didn't know if my order would then be canceled i received like my 25 dollar off or 25 percent off your next purchase online um coupon for spending a certain amount but that i still didn't have the confirmation that my order was in or that it would ship Thankfully it did, and I just need to say bravo to Vans because their two-day shipping is insane. So with another patterned Vans collaboration in my collection, if you guys remember, I picked up the Pendleton print, printed uh, authentic as well earlier this year. That video is available on my channel to watch, but I have another printed sneaker. Now I chose to really style one directly with the hoodie itself. And then another is has a much more feminine vibe to it. Just truth be told. So let's go over two ways I would style this pair. The panel in the middle will feature the hoodie also present in the Vans Bape collaboration for the month of December. I'm wearing a size medium and it actually fits more true to size if I were to get a Nike men's small. So that's just an FYI for size reference. I'm 5'6", 127 pounds. For the very first look on the left, it's kept simple with just the hoodie and the authentic 44DX pair really being the focus. So again, you have the hoodie in the gray colorway size medium and then a pair of minimal cargo pants that tie at the ankle. Uh, I love just being able to incorporate olive green into any outfit. And then of course the Bape socks I received last year as a birthday gift. 
On the right, I'm wearing those very same pants and socks, but a switch up for a more feminine street look. So I'm wearing the waffle knit seamless bralette from American Eagle, also an American Eagle denim shirt or a chambray shirt in a men's extra small. And then for a layered effect, I threw on the minimal camo hooded jacket. So please be sure to sound off which is your favorite. Again, one on the left, simple, just really the hoodie and the sneaker itself, but on the right, a little bit more of my style incorporated for the entire look and I love it. Again, so truly one is just much more for the ladies. If you want to wear the waffle knit bralette, um, I picked this up from Aerie and I absolutely love it. It is super comfortable. I need a lot more colors in this um, to just wear day to day, lounge around in whatever. I absolutely love it. Um, and then you guys were able to see the other look. Just throw on some green cargo pants, quite honestly, and keep it moving with a camo pair of sneakers and a gray hoodie with an additional print on the back and then on the front. Um, so kept it simple kept it sweet hopefully like this video um, now go ahead comment below which outfit you preferred but then also if you knew about this collab would you have gone for it are you a bape fan whatsoever and if even you're not a fan traditionally maybe of a brand to the point where you go after every release you know does something catch your eye and then you think hey i'll try it out go ahead and comment below if you're not subscribed and you like what you see go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like button i truly appreciate it and as always act your age not your shoe size peace